we're going to be creating a pin stall table. Your pin stall table can actually control your line widths, the colors, and you can set this up into one file where it can be saved on your server and it can control the way all your people in your company are using or you can use it in your own individual settings as well. First thing you want to do is go to plot and you'll notice up in the upper right hand corner it says plot style table. The way you create one of these is you click on the cursor down button and hit new and start from scratch and hit next and then we can call it new style or Once you get that finished, you can go back up to the right hand button here. It says edit. And you click on that and it'll bring up all your different pins or your colors is the same thing. And they're, they're labeled 1 through 255. And you can actually go through all these and change them to different colors or different widths, however you want. Normally a company doesn't use more than 30 or 15. So we start with uh, color one, and usually I like to go from like uh, the smallest to largest in in width, so that you know it helps you out. And you can also plot these out and hang them up on your wall once you get done to actually look at the color, so you know which one's thicker and which one's thinner. After a while, you'll get the hang of it. And again, you can set up all your drawings this way, and they'll always plot the same. So if we look at color one, and we make that black. And then we go down here and we can change the weight and just continue on down, change that black and then this is awful helpful for clients in like department transportation or government jobs as well. Now, if we go to some other colors, we might want to put some grayscale lines in here. So when we want to have something that's looking shaded or screening, we'll, we'll select black again. And we'll go to screening and set like 50%. We'll use the same type of width. Now you can actually, if you if you wanted to, you could actually do colors as well. Let's say we want to use um, for number eight, we're going to use a red, and we'll set the line weight of that as well. And number nine, we'll use a color of yellow. And number ten, we use green. And once you get done, you can just hit save. And I've already created some lines here, and this is a good way that you can do it. You can plot out the actual lines, and, and I've got the color numbers here. That's also a quick way to change your line thicknesses without having to think about which color was that. Well, you just go by numbers. You know, no, you know that number six is a different width and color, and number one is the thinnest. It, and things like that. So if I plot this to see what the results will be, and make sure that my pin style table is selected, it should give me that visual eth effect. Okay. So now we can see that without having to go through layers and worry about all the different settings and that doing our widths. We can actually set up a pin style table which will dictate depending on the color number what our widths will be and once we get this set then everybody should be good as far as standards go. Now you, you will notice that these couple down here are still black. Now these are the colors that I assigned them and notice they go up in width as well but these are still black. In order to simply fix that you just go back to your plot and hit the style and we'll go back to 
color number 7 which should be a 50 percent and we'll go to 6 which should be a 50 percent save and close and then we'll look at it again and just within a few seconds we fix that to a grayish or a gray scale type color so so this is a thing that you can do with um, setting up pen style tables just to give you an example of how you do it it depends on how your company but it is really a great tool because if you can again save this and control it as a manager to make sure that everybody uses the same style same colors and when you set your templates up it'll always plot out the same way and it really helps the company make money and keeps all your drawings plotting out the same way the one thing you want to look at is if you go into options you can type that in or hit your right button and go to options is if you have a server and you want to see where your files go to then go to printer support plot style search and right there is where you can hit click on and browse and set that to your actual location of your server and that way it'll always go up and pick your pen style up and once you set that it'll go there and you be in the manager or the person that can change the pen styles if you ever have to do that once you set it then all the drawings will automatically be updated throughout the whole company because you set one file which controls it all so that's a good deal